All right, guys, I'm back with the video that I promised some of my viewers and subscribers because everybody that's a subscriber doesn't always view and everybody that's a viewer isn't always subscribed. But today's video is showing you how to take your rosters that you create or that you download and put them in my career. Um, you could also put them in my GM and my league and season and playoff modes using the same method. First thing we want to do, let's grab a roster, any roster that you want. Go to create a roster if you want to download one. If you already have it, then just go to edit roster. I'll just pick any any one of these. All right, don't worry about what the teams look like or what the created players look like. All I'm doing is showing you guys how to move a roster into my career. Now, you will have to start a new my career to do this. OK, if you guys want to change players in your current my career, like change rosters around and stuff, I'll show you how to do that. But all right, so pull up Limnono's trainer. All right, this is the tool. Press F1. Press F3. F1 activates it. F3, as you can see, copy custom roster for my career. But it will also copy the roster into my league, my GM, season, and playoffs. Okay? So it will do that. For anybody who has a question about what system this is on, this is on PC only. I do have a video that will be coming out for um, a totally different way of playing my career for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and yet PC for it, for all consoles. It's the way you can play my career without having to worry about like getting VC for your attributes. Your attributes will grow based on your performance in the game. All right, so. The last thing we did with the tool was press F3 to copy the custom roster. So then you would need to go and create a new my career and you would have that custom roster copied into your brand new my career. All right. So and once you once you finish doing that and you get started with your new my career, then you just press F3 to turn that off and save the my career. We're not going to. I'm not going to start a brand new my career for you guys while on camera. It just takes too long to get through the stuff. What I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to move guys around in your current my career. So I'm going to load up an offline my career. And then I'll show you guys how to move players around or how to change players up and how you can add rookies. All right. I'll be back after the load screen. All right, guys, I'm back. This is an offline my career that I have. All right. So once you're on an NBA team, you have to. Well, yeah, you have to be on an NBA team for this to work. So once you get into the league and you play a game, you want to go to player stats or league leaders. Yeah, either player stats or league leaders, something that shows you like kind of like people on the roster. So we'll go to player stats. All right, right here we have John Wall, Bradley Beal, Otto Porter, basically the Wizards. What I want to do is, let's say, let's see. Well, here I am all the way down here. I'm a 56 overall shooting guard. I never play with this file, by the way. Um, and let's say it's just I need to clear the way for me to shine, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all the shooting guards on the team so I can shine. I could just boost up my rating, but I need to show you guys how to move players off of your team. All right. So I'm not going to move Bradley Bill. Unfortunately, I'm going to move Marcus Thornton, get him out the way. So what you got to do is pull up Limnono Trainer, make sure 
Marcus Thornton is selected and like highlighted in the menu. Ah man, it keeps going off of him. So Marcus Thornton. All right. Then go to the Lemnono's trainer. Read highlighted player. Thornton comes up at the top. Then you can just find whoever you want to trade for him. Why are these guys? Honestly, guys, I don't know why I have colleges in here. I, but I'm going to trade him for a college player, I guess. So, um, just highlight a player that you want to trade for Thornton. Click read. And then that player's name comes up here. And then just go to trade players. The logos change behind that player, but it's, the, you know, it still might show you like a mix of rosters here. So just back out. But Marcus Thornton is not on my team anymore. Ah, uh, there we go. So, yeah, Marcus Thornton is gone. And this Matt guy is here on our team. That's great. So, the next thing... I would do is instead of getting rid of Bradley Bill, um, I can just change his position. So I'm just going to make him the backup point guard or whatever. I wouldn't really do this, but this is what I'm going to do for the sake of this video. So pull up the tool again, go to read highlighted player it says bill, go to attributes, make sure it's bill, Bradley bill. All right, so go down here. His main position is one. One is equal to a shooting guard. Zero is equal to a point guard. So if you if you know how to count up and attach the positions, then a four should be a center. But I'm going to make him. I'm going to make I said I was going to make him a point guard. So there we go. I change him to a zero. Come up here. And Bradley Bill is now a point guard. John Wall is a point guard, so there we go. And I'm a shooting guard. It's 56 overall. But anyway, so also if you want to put rookies in your roster, so like this Matt guy down here, uh, let's see. I'm going to highlight him. And I could change his cyber face. To somebody else I'm just gonna pick somebody random I, I don't know who this is gonna be um, let's do 1076 actually you know what it won't even show up right now but it will show up in game but I'm definitely gonna change his name um, let's say that there's a rookie that you want in your roster um, I'll just say faults I'll I don't care about what his first name is, but if you want to change the first name and all of it, their stats and stuff to make them the real life rookie, then you can. Uh, so, so just remember that, let's see. So I changed it to folds. Uh, you know what? I still have bill selected because I forgot to do read highlighted player. So Bill's last name should actually be Foltz now. Yep. So what you have to do is you have to remember the person, the person's name on the right is who you are updating. And I would have known that if I would have been paying attention, but I wasn't. So anyway, yeah, you can add guys like that and you can correct your errors because I still have Bradley Bill up here. I can just change his name back to Bill. And 
And then I can just go select another player, you know. I can go back to Mac. Click read highlighted player. Now Mac is up here on the right. And Mac, his last name is right there. So now I can change that. And you're done. If you don't want anything to get messed up, you could always just click uh, refresh roster list. It actually puts everybody that's in this roster. It'll tell you everybody. Some guys are not assigned to teams. I wouldn't bother messing with those guys that are not assigned to teams in your roster. It could mess your roster up, corrupt it. But, yeah, if you wanted to mess with guys this way, like um, we could actually find Bradley Bill here. Brad. Yeah, there he is. And just double click him. And now he's selected up here instead of highlighting him in the game. And we could. So I've got Bradley Bill selected. So he's right here, but then I'm going to select, let's see, Brandon Ingram, double click him. So now Bill is over here and Brandon Ingram is over here. So if I start messing with stuff, I'm going to be changing Brandon Ingram. But if I, if I like copy accessories, it'll copy the accessories from Ingram to Bill or copy animations from Ingram to Bill copies stuff from the right player to the left player. Also, if you trade, there you go. So now I should have Brandon Ingram on this team. He's yeah. So Brandon Ingram is on our team, but you have to back out of this menu and go back in to see him. There he is, Brandon Ingram. So this is how you can just manipulate your roster in my career, especially if you're doing a YouTube series. If you're on the PC, you're kind of at an advantage because you can keep up with the real life moves for the most part. And guys, you can do all this stuff in my career in my GM also. So this is a good tool to use if you're doing a my career series. You can make your series much more interesting to your viewers. Again, I got another video coming for you PS4 users and Xbox One users. It'll it'll apply to all consoles. It's a much better way of playing my career where your your ratings are based on the stats that you get playing in game. OK. All right. So we're going to get up out of here. I will see you guys later. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Um, you guys can add me on Twitter if you want. I don't get on there a lot just because I really haven't had a reason to in the last couple of years. But if you guys start adding me on Twitter, my Twitter handle is TG so good. If you guys start adding me on there and hitting me up or whatever, you know, if you guys are talking about something that I'm interested in, you know, I'll follow back. Uh, maybe I'll start tweeting more. Maybe you guys have some suggestions for videos or whatever. Um, uh, we'll see. We'll see where we can go from there. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay tuned. I've got that video for PS4 and Xbox One users on the way.